Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Certainly this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us all rejoice and be glad in it. responsive reading this morning and it comes from Ephesians chapter 6 yeah. Ephesians chapter 6 and it reads as follows verse 10 I'm sorry <clears throat> finally my brethren be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching, therefore, until with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading and to the hearers of his holy word. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you on this morning, just a few of your children, Lord, thanking you for the beginning of another day's journey, thanking you for how you continue to bless us each and every day of our lives, O oh God. How you continue to take us through the, the dangers, seen and unseen. How you continue to bless us with every need, Lord. You continue to handle every concern, Lord. Lord, we can trust you in every situation, Lord, to be there in the midst of our adversities, Lord. Lord, we praise your holy name. We lift you up on this morning. We magnify your holy name. For certainly you are worthy this morning, oh Lord, for all the praise. Lord. Lord, we just thank you this morning, Lord, for how you continue to enrich our lives with your word, how you continue to mold and shape us, Lord. Lord, we just thank you for all that you have done. We thank you for the redeeming blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, Lord. Thank you for the lamb that was slain for us, oh God. Thank you, Lord, that he didn't stay dead, but thank you that he rose early one Sunday morning. And we got up with all power because he lives. We live as well. And we just thank you this morning, Lord. Our prayer, Lord, is that you will bless every household this morning, Lord. Everyone that's tuning in, Lord. Everyone that is trusting you this morning. In spite of all that they are going through, Lord, we know that you are working it out. Even as we pray, Lord, you are working it out, Lord. We're trusting you this morning. We're asking you to continue blessings upon every believer, Lord. Help us, Lord, to continue to trust you in all things, Lord. No matter what comes our way, Lord, help us to continue to lift up your holy name. For certainly, Lord, you and you alone are worthy of praise and adoration, oh God. We just praise you this morning. And we pray, Lord, that you would bless the service this morning, Lord. Bless the fathers, Lord. Bless those, Lord, uh, 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 who, who are seeking to do the best they can, Lord. Give them strength, Lord. Give them uh, 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 more of a determination, Lord, to serve you, Father God, and in their serving, Lord. We know, Lord, that you will build them up, Lord, according to your will. We pray, Lord, you continue bless upon the deacons of this church, upon the men of this church. Lord, upon everyone that calls on your name, thank you for the sisters, Lord. Thank you for the children. Thank you for the old age, Lord. Thank you, old God, for how you just continue to, to, to be there for us. And even in times like these, Lord, we know that we can trust and depend and lean on you. 
Yeah. Lord, you have pro yeah. pro provided peace for us in the midst yeah. of the storm. Yeah. And in all you told us that, that all we have to do is keep our eyes on you. Yeah. The author and finisher of our faith. Help us to continue to trust you this morning, Lord. Yeah. And Lord, we thank you for our pastor, Lord. Thank you. Our prayer, Lord, is that you just continue to, to fill him with knowledge of your word, Lord. Continue to, to help him to be zealous of, of, of learning of you and, and teaching your word, Father God, and, and preaching and, and, and helping develop the saints, oh God. Help him, Lord. Strengthen him. Continue to watch over him. Restore his health, Father God. Just Whatever it is, your will be done, Father God. We know that you got him, Father God. Our prayer, Lord, is that you would help us to support him as he continues to minister, Father God. Bless him as he prepares to preach on this morning, Father God. But Lord, help us to be prepared to receive the word on this morning. Yeah, thank you. Lord, we thank you for those that, that are, are ready to give a word of praise, Father God, to open up their mouths, Lord. We just pray, Lord, that you would inhabit the praise of your people and just continue to have your way in this service, Lord. And for all who may be viewing, Lord, Lord, we just lift you up. We magnify your name. And Lord, we just pray, Lord, that you will be honored in this service. Once again, Father God, we thank you and we praise you. Amen. Thank God. Amen. Amen. Once again, we're glad to have everyone tuning in on this morning. At this time, we're going to have our praise team come up. Amen. And we, we just want to lift up the name of the Lord this morning. He's been too good to us. He blessed us with some awesome fathers. Amen. He just continues to prepare, prepare the way for us. Amen. And without him, we can do nothing. Amen. So we
Sister Sean. Amen. Thank you, Brother Banks, for accompanying the music ministry. Amen. Thank you. We um, are grateful and happy to be here on this Father's Day. Amen. Amen. As you know, as a nation, we're going through difficult challenges. But the one thing that we must know is that God is always working behind the scenes. Yes, he is. And not only is he working behind the scenes, yeah. but he's working on our behalf. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Please understand that the coronavirus did not catch God by surprise. So, let us continue to pray for our church family and the entire human family. So much is taking place. We want to especially pray for those uh, who care for individuals who are sick and for individuals who are shut in. And we want to pray for those who are working to develop the test that we need to find a vaccine for COVID-19. As Christians, we will continue to trust in the providence of God to see us all through this pandemic. And I pray that we will not live in the spirit of fear. Amen. But we'll trust in him yeah. with all our hearts. So thank you this morning for tuning in and joining us in worship. Appreciate those who led us in worship. Every praise yeah. is to our yes, sir. God. Amen. <laughs> worship is always uplifting. It's always good when we can praise the Lord when we know what he has done for us. Yes. Yes. And so worship cannot be complete in my mind without giving. Listen to John, 3 John chapter 1 verses 2 to 4. It says this, Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health just as your soul prospers. For I rejoice greatly, brethren, when brethren came and testified of the truth that is in you. Just as you walk in the truth, I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. God desires that we prosper in all things. The priority of our lives must be for his glory. Yeah, yeah. Our giving reflects what we think about him and his word. His word directs us to be good stewards and to support the church financially. The Bible says that a steward must be first found faithful. Helpful today. And uh, the question is, are you faithful in your giving to God? Amen. Uh, we thank God for his word. We thank you. We thank God for the message of truth and encouragement that he provides for us through his word. I'm encouraged by the Apostle John's words as they reflect uh, God's fatherly love yeah. for us all. All right. He says, I pray that you all prosper in all things. Uh, give us courage, Lord, to be faithful stewards yeah. of all that you have provided for us. Amen. If you have your offering, as is our custom, place your offering in your right hand, lift it up to the Lord, 
Certainly this does not have anything to do with some magical formula. It's simply a matter of obedience. Let's pray. Father, together we thank you. We ask that you would bless the offering that's given for the work of ministry. We pray that it will be used to advance your kingdom. We pray for the one who has it to give. And we pray for the one who has a desire to give and has it not. We pray that you would allow some real good thing ha to happen to them. Yes. Bless these offerings is our prayer in Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. 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 Now our worship is complete. All right. We've given unto the Lord. And so now we want to look into his holy word. Um, this morning, I want to utilize a very familiar passage of scripture um, as we celebrate together um, Father's Day. I want to encourage the men. Happy Father's Day. Amen. I'm glad that you chose to be with us on this day. Amen. And I trust that God will touch you in some positive way through the service this morning. Amen. If you would turn in your Bibles to 2 Chronicles chapter 7. Chapter 7. Look down to verse 12. And we'll read from verse 12 to verse 14. This is the reading from the New King James Version of the Bible. Then the Lord appeared to Solomon by night. And said to him, I have heard your prayer and have chosen this place for myself as a house of sacrifice. When I shut up the heaven, when I shut up heaven and there is no rain or command the locusts to devour the land or send pestilence among, the pe among my people. Here it is. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. Amen. This is the word of God. You may be seated. The other day in Sunday school, the Sunday school teacher asked the children if they knew the difference between Mother's Day and Father's Day. <laughs> One little boy hurried up and raised his hand. <laughs> he says, I know. He said, Mother's Day and Father's Day are alike. Except on Father's Day, you don't spend as much money. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so this morning, I want to share from this section of scripture with the men. And, and let me just say, as a pastor, finding the, the appropriate things to say on Father's Day is sometimes a difficult task. Use it, Lord. Preach. Not because there's lack of material, uh, but it is knowing what to say. Speak the truth. And how to yes, say sir. it. Mm -hmm. Faith in Jesus Christ gives us eternal life through our faith. God gives us the spiritual breath of life. Yes. Come 
going to stay with me for a few minutes. All right. Mm -hmm. We've heard too many times recently the words, I can't breathe. Yeah. Yeah. And those words are uttered based on police misconduct. Uh -huh. But too many Christians today are in respiratory failure. You're helping us. Mm -hmm. You're helping us. Yes, they've been born again. But they are not thriving as people of God mm -hmm. and people of faith. Yeah. They are not getting the breath of life. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like being in Keystone, Colorado. Mm -hmm. Keystone, Colorado <coughs> is about 9,000 feet above sea level. Mm -hmm. And at that altitude, it's very difficult to breathe. Right. There's only about 40% of the oxygen that we receive at sea level. Mm. It's hard to breathe at that altitude. Yeah. People up there are gasping for air. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Christians today are gasping for God's renewing air. Yes. Yeah. We're searching for God's life-giving power. Yeah. 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 So this morning, this is a call to revival for men. Amen. Amen. Uh, All right. I, I, want, I want to preach under that heading, a call to revival for men. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I, I know this will impact more than just the men in the house. Yes. Say amen. 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 <laughs> uh, 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 but 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 revival is about Christians coming back to life spiritually. All right. Revival writes Walter Kaiser presupposes a serious decline in the church's appetite for th spiritual things and her champion championing the cause of morality and justice in human affairs. Yeah. And, 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 and we see that clearly <clears throat> in our culture today. Yeah. People are not honoring morality mm -hmm. and justice. Mm -hmm. People are honoring just us. Mm -hmm. You talking? Yeah. Furthermore, Revival presupposes that believers either do not know the standards set forth in Scripture or do not care to use them as the basis of deciding what is right and what is wrong. Right, right. That's why our church and my ministry is based on stamping out biblical Help literacy. Yeah. 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 We can't do what God tells us to do if we don't, if we don't know what he says to do. Yeah. And if we don't follow what he says to do. When he tells us to love your neighbor as yourself, mm -hmm. he's not dividing people into ethnic groups. Right, that's right, that's right. He's including everyone yeah. in our love for one another. Amen. Amen. When Christ's followers have ceased to be salt and light in the world, families, societies, churches are left without leadership that moves us closer to God. Mm -hmm. So this is a word of encouragement from the word of God because we need men who are willing to leave their family, their communities, and their churches Amen. in God's way. Amen. In our world, wickedness grows like weeds. And we need voices raised in protest yeah. mm -hmm. that warn about the certainty 
of the frightening judgment of God that is to come. Yeah. If we don't turn back to God, mm -hmm. he will ultimately turn from us. Amen. Amen. There's too many people yeah. who believe they are Christians. But one day, when it's time to meet our maker, we're going to show up at the throne of judgment and he's going to say, depart from me, you worker of iniquity. I never knew you. These people have fooled themselves into thinking and believing that they are Christians. The problem is that they've set their own standards mm -hmm. for Christianity. Mm -hmm. uh, Man. But listen, listen. As true believers, people who follow the word of God, we do have to love even our enemies. Amen. Amen. That's right. That's right. And, and, and I know we can't do it on our own. Right. 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 I can't do it on my own. Amen. Right. I need the love Amen. of Christ yes. Yes. flowing through my life yes. Yes. in order to love some people yes. who are just hard yes. to love. Yes. And in yes. fact, don't want to be loved. Yes. So today, churches and many Christians, even people who fill pulpits, yep. need to be revived. Yeah. We need to experience God's life-giving love mm -hmm. again yeah. so that we can become channels mm -hmm. of his love to others. Yeah. Yeah. We need revival. But the question is, are we ready for divide, revival? Mm -hmm. Are we willing to let God begin his reviving work yeah. in our hearts and in our lives? Yeah. You can't <laughs> live the Christian life by setting your own standards. Mm -hmm. The standards have been set in the word of God. Yeah. God spoke these words in our text to Solomon when life was good. Amen. The temple had and the palace had been completed. Israel was experiencing a time of prosperity and peace and <coughs> prominence. However, God knew mm -hmm. there would come a time when his people would realize that they were empty and hurting and hungry yes. for the blessings of God. Amen. And that they would cry out, will you not revive us again as they did in Psalms 85? Mm -hmm. Then God would again pour out his forgiveness and love on his people. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. the history of the people of God. You're making a yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. They Preach. turn away from God, Preach. but God doesn't turn away from him. He yeah, keeps yeah, on providing yeah. love. He keeps on doing what he said. He yeah. promised yeah. that he would revive them. And he, did, he, he defined the terms for revival. Yeah. He said, humble yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Pray, seek my face, uh -huh. and turn from your wicked ways. Yes. To be revived, we must want to be revived. We have to accept God's standards and his demand. Help us today, Lord. So, so let us look at three steps to revival on God's terms. Hmm. Step, one, step number one, God revives his people when they humble themselves.
Step number two, God revives his people when they turn away from the world. Mm -hmm. And then thirdly, God revives his people when they turn back to him. Amen. Those Amen. three things and I'll be done. Number one, God revives his people when they humble themselves before him and admit that they need him. Mm -hmm. Amen. The first step in humbling ourselves before God, the first step is humbling ourselves before God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we begin that process by confessing to God that we have strayed yes. from him. Yes. We've wandered away from God and his standards. We yes. have lost touch with him. There is a void in our lives. The church will fail to be all that it can be until men and women take their rightful place yes. In the kingdom of God. Amen. We first must admit that we need God. Amen. Mm -hmm. For some, that may be even harder to do than confessing that we've strayed. Mm -hmm. Humility before God means we acknowledge that we have made a mess of things mm -hmm. on our own yeah. and that we yeah. need him yeah. to take charge yeah. again. We need him to put, we need to put him in first place yes. in our lives. Yes. Revi for revival to happen, we must humble ourselves mm -hmm. before God and admit that we need God. Yes. And until we do that, we can't get past you step preaching. number one mm -hmm. until we do that. Yes. We have to realize no matter how Holy, sanctified, tongue-speaking, Holy Ghost rolling, we might think we are. Yeah. We have to recognize that we need God. Yes, sir. Yes. And yes, that sir. he yes. needs to be in first place yes, sir. in yes. our lives and in all that we do. Yes, yes. Amen. Then secondly, God revives his people when they turn away from the world. Mm -hmm. The world teaches us to worship everything other than God. Yeah. Yeah. It takes what God has given us for good and makes it ugly and evil. Amen. The world gives us so many diversions that we sometimes no longer have time Help us, for God. Mm -hmm. And not having time for God may mean that you are running out of time. You, making a point. You, you may think you can do it tomorrow, yeah. but tomorrow is not promised right. to anybody. Yeah. Yeah. Now is the time. Today is the day Amen. to get it straight with the God of heaven. Amen. In the world, the obsession with acquiring, acquiring money, exploiting sex, grabbing power, take precedence over the things of God. Amen. Richard Foster wrote in a book entitled Money, Sex, and power. In it, he said, to live rightly with reference to money, sex, and power is to live sacramentally. Mm. To misuse and abuse these things is to dis desecrate the holy things of God. The world encourages us to put our needs, our desires, and ourselves first. And putting self in first place causes us to put God to the side. Yeah, that's right. 
Now there are many things that are good in the world, sports, art, entertainment, mm -hmm. social organizations, uh, give us more choices than we can take advantage of. Amen. The danger is that we get so busy with all of the stuff that the world offers that we forget all God almost entirely. Yeah. Putting self first mm -hmm. also leads to our making choices based on what we want instead of what is right in God's eyes. Yeah. 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 Uh, from that moment in the Garden of Eve, when God confronted Adam and Eve, people have been making excuses to God for their disobedience. Uh -huh. That's called sin. And sin separates us from God. If we believe the lie that the world that what the world offers is as good as it gets, we may get in get to the point where we sell our soul for what us. is temporary. Free. Yeah. Rather than being sold out Free. for Jesus. Free. Yeah. If we truly want revival, we must humble ourselves before God. Yeah. Then we must turn from the things of the world that lead to sin. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. The third thing that we must do is understand that God revives his people when they turn back to him. Amen, amen. We read in verse 14 that we must pray and seek God's face. Revival requires a return to God. To reconnect with him, we must pray and spend time talking with him. That's why we've been preaching on and studying the matter of prayer. Yeah. It's much too important to just use it as a side issue. Mm -hmm. It's vitally important. It's the way we communicate with God and it's the way he can communicate with us. Mm -hmm. We also must get back to the Bible. Mm -hmm. The word of God, the Bible, <clears throat> is God's instruction manual for holy living. Yes. What God wants from us is obedience to his commands. To live humbly before God, yes. we must read and study, study. his word. Amen. Amen. And we must hide his word oh, in our hearts. Yes. So, so, so our, our first reaction to the things that happen around us, mm -hmm. it should be happening from a heart that's dedicated to God. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's right. now, listen, listen. Amen. If I don't give my heart to God, too many times, in too many situations, I would react in the flesh have a tendency <laughs> yep, yep. to act like I'm not saved. <laughs> the Bible also reveals to us who God is. Mm -hmm. So if we really want to know God, we need to read his word as we read the Bible, we not only learn about God, but we learn how much he really loves us. Yeah. Yeah. And we learn yeah. his instructions to us yeah. for living. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and because God knows more than we do, yeah. he knows better than we do, mm -hmm. 
how best to live this life That's right. that he gave us. Yeah. Yeah. He made us in his image yeah. for the purpose of us representing him right. here on earth. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We need to learn Three. his instructions. Yes. Yes. And once we learn his instructions, we must follow his instructions. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes there may be times when we don't understand what's going on. But if we develop the right relationship with him, we can trust him despite not being able to see the outcome. Thank you, Lord. It might be something like being in the middle of a worldwide pandemic. Not knowing what's going to happen. Right. Helping us free. Hearing voices talk about they did it. They did it. It happened because of this. We don't need to know the source. That's right. That's right. We need to know the one who is above the source. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. We need to know the one who can solve the <laughs> whole issue right. with just one word. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. And even when he doesn't, we still need to hold yeah. to his unchanging yeah. hand. Yeah. Yeah. He is God. Yeah. He does know what he's yeah. doing. Yeah. And he's That's working it. it out for That's our good. good. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you, Lord. You're preaching. I, I, I want to stay here on yeah. earth. I want uh, the fellowship with my brothers and sisters. I want to stay with my wife and my son and daughter. I, I, I want to be around the people I love, but... Come on, yeah. come on, come on. If not, yes. I've already secured yes. my ticket yes. Yes. Amen. home. Yes. Yeah. Yes, sir. And so, no matter what happens, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, to, to live... Is Christ, yeah. Yeah. but to die yeah. is gain. Yeah. So we want to make sure that we're walking in the right way. That's we right. want, so. brothers, we need a revival yeah. among our men, yeah. Yeah. and not because uh, of my <laughs> own personal desires. Yeah. But I know that God wants men yeah. to take the leadership yeah. Yeah. because he designed it that yeah. way. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Does Amen. not in any way yes, sir. put down or denigrate women. Yes, sir. Uh, Amen. We need them. I need mine. Uh, you ain't by yourself. <laughs> because that's God's design yeah. for the family. Yeah. Uh -huh. And He wants the family to have the position of passing on a godly legacy yeah. from one generation to another. And you can't do that mm -hmm. if you're not related to him yeah. by way of Jesus Christ. Yeah. That's right. Amen. Good word. Good word. What may sound judgmental and harsh from a human perspective, in 2 Chronicles 7, 13, and 14 is really God's gift of life to his people. The Bible really is a love story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's the story of God's love yes, yes for his people. Yeah. It's a story of God's untiring, unwavering, unwavering inexhaustible, unconditional overwhelming love for his people. Uh -huh. Thank you. Verses 13 and 14, he, he, he offers something. He says, when I shut up, mm -hmm. heaven, heaven, and there is no rain, or command the locusts devour, to devour the land and send pestilence mm -hmm. among your, my people. He's describing 
difficult times. Yeah. Man. He's describing You're making a point. what sounds like to me yep. a coronavirus yep. pandemic. Yeah. 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 And then he tells us in verse, verse 14 mm -hmm. the solution. Yeah. If my people yeah. who are called by my name mm -hmm. will humble themselves yeah. and pray and seek my face yeah. and turn from their wicked ways. Yeah. Then I will hear from heaven yeah. and I'll heal their land. Yeah. Yeah. God wants the best for us. Yeah. Yeah. But he wants us to have the best by following his plan for us. Amen. And the plan is for us men to be revived. Mm -hmm. This is a call to revive. Now listen, God knows we will fail. Yeah. He knows we'll rebel and disobey. He knows that we are weak <laughs> and willful. Mm -hmm. However, Preach. he reminds us that when we wake up to the fact that we need him yeah, uh -huh. and turn away from sin That's and right. return to him, yeah, yeah. he will forgive us, he'll heal us, he'll restore us, he'll revive us again and again and again and again. Thank you, Lord. When we really want revival, God pours out his abundant life-giving love on his people. When British evangelist Gypsy Smith was asked how to start a revival, he said, go home, lock yourself in your room, kneel down on the floor, draw a chalk, a chalk circle around yourself and ask God to start revival inside of the chalk circle. Mm -hmm. When he's answered your prayer, the revival will be on. Amen. Amen. Listen, we, we, we can't start a revival by waiting for somebody over That's there right. Right. Amen. Right. to kick it off. Uh -huh. right. That's right. We start a revival right here. In ourselves. Amen. That's how Amen. we turn from our wicked ways. Mm -hmm. Listen. Listen to Jesus' warning. To Christians. Revelation chapter. Let me drop down to verse 4. Now this warning certainly for the church in Ephesus but it is a warning for us as well. Verse 4 says, Nevertheless, I have this against you that you have left your first love. Mm -hmm. Remember, therefore, from where you have fallen, mm -hmm. repent and do the first works, or else I will come to you quickly and remove your lampstand from its place unless you repent. Mm -hmm. Like the people at Ephesus, we might be doing a whole lot of religious things. You're helping to preach. We may be going through all the motions of being a Christian. Mm -hmm. We may touch all the check marks of being a Christian. However, that we do not love God and others as we did at one time, we need to turn back to God again and ask him to revive us. 
Love is the essence yeah. of the Christian faith. Mm -hmm. Our love, our God loves us. He created us. He chose us. And even when we reject or rebel against him, he continues to love us Amen. and seek us. Amen. He wants us to be with him, but he's waiting for us to do our part. Amen. Turn from our wicked ways. Mm -hmm. Now listen. If there's emptiness in your life, if there's a hunger that can't be satisfied, if there's a yearning in your heart, perhaps it can only be filled by a right relationship yeah. with God. Yeah. 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 So I want, I want to encourage you now. Ask him to revive you mm -hmm. or ask him into your life Amen. for the very Amen. first time. Amen. Pray that God will indeed revive us again. Amen. Amen. So for those who perhaps are looking to a relationship with Jesus Christ for the very first time, Receiving Jesus as Savior involves turning to God and trusting Christ to come into your life. Yes. Yes. The Bible and promises eternal life to all who receive Jesus. God has given us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. He who has the Son has life. And he who does not have the Son does not have life. This is uh, John. He says, I write these things to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, that you may know that you have eternal life. Listen, this morning, if you've invited Jesus into your life, you can thank God for your eternal life right now. Yes, yes. We encourage you to find a Bible-believing, Bible-teaching church yeah. so that you can continue your walk with the Lord. Yeah. If you need assistance in finding a church or taking the next steps, you can contact us on our website at www.secondbaptistchurchindio.org or you may call the church office at 760 Three four seven three eight five three. We will respond to your inquiries. Please know that we are praying for you and hope that you have a relationship with God and the Father. Thank you. We're encouraging you. all men today. Thank you, Lord. To be revived by the word of God. Let me, uh, let me remind the Second Baptist family that uh, Wednesday night is our Mission Bible Study Night at 6 p.m. Um, and then on Thursday night, uh, we have prayer and Bible study starting at 6.30 p.m. And then, and then, about to get fired. <laughs> <laughs> on Monday nights, we have our women's Bible study. We're about to start growing <laughs> at 6.30. 6 30. Um, I understand they're having a wonderful time. Every time they start their study, I get locked out of my wife's office. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> and then um, we're still doing u -Jam. Friday. On Friday nights, 6 15. It's an exercise with Sister Tiffany Goodman. And then, then let me let me say thank you, first of all, to all those of you who have turned in your surveys on returning to church. If you haven't returned your survey in, then we still have time to send it. 
we're compiling the information so that we can make a collective choice about when to return to uh, service. We certainly are um, um, wanting and desiring to have the very best service experience that we can. Thank God for uh, those choir members who are uh, coming to share worship with us. We um, um, are celebrating Sunday after Sunday Amen. what Amen. God is doing to us, through us, and for us. Amen. I, I urge you to continue to pray uh, for our country, our nation, um, especially for those who we see as so far out of, outside of reality. Yes. Yes. Amen. 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 We just need to pray, y'all. Amen. Amen. And, and, and listen, have, have faith, have courage. Yes. God still has us. Yep. Yes, he does. And, and, and I do want I do want to emphasize that if you need some assistance uh, with food and things that you need for survival. Please contact um, the church office. And we'll do our best, um, do the best that we can to assist you. We do have a food pantry, so we can provide um, food for families that are in need. So many people are struggling with unemployment. The government is failing to support the citizens in the way that they should. Major corporations are getting money to continue doing what they do. Our families are struggling just to make ends meet. So we want to pray for them. Amen. And pray for our Receive the benediction. Father in heaven, we thank you so much for your continued goodness thank and you. mercy. Yeah. Thank you that you are in charge of all yes, things. Oh God. Yes, you are, now, God, I pray for those who are in need. Ask that you would supply every need. I'm praying, Heavenly Father, that you would remember those who are unemployed. Remember those who are sick. Remember those who are working on the front lines of this coronavirus pandemic. And remember, oh God, those who are in office. Yes. Touch, yes, oh God, as only you can. Yes. Now unto him who's able to present us faultless before the very throne of God, to the only wise God, be glory, power, and dominion, both now, henceforth, and forevermore. And all the people of God sang together. Amen.